పెద్దవాడు కనుక ఒక ట్రీట్మెంట్ కనుక మనకి ఒక ట్వంటీ ఇయర్స్ యావరేజ్ కింద అంటే ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ ఇయర్స్ తర్వాత వాళ్ళ కాళ్ళ మీద వాళ్ళు బతుకుతారు కాబట్టి వాళ్ళు పేరెంట్స్ మీద ఆధారపడతారు అలా ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ ఇయర్స్ కనుక చేస్తే మనం దాదాపు ఒక కోటి రూపాయల దాకా ఖర్చు అవుతుంది ఏ విధంగా చూసినా సో ఒక సింపుల్ బ్లడ్ టెస్ట్ విచ్ కాస్ట్ అరౌండ్ ఓన్లీ ఫైవ్ హండ్రెడ్ రూపీస్ అదే గవర్నమెంట్ తలుచుకుంటే అది ఇంకా తక్కువకు వస్తుంది అనమాట ఇలా మనం ఇరాడికేషన్ కనుక చేస్తే అంటే ఉన్న పిల్లల్ని కేర్ అండ్ కంట్రోల్ ఉన్న పిల్లల్ని కాపాడుకుంటూ అసలు ఇలాంటి పిల్లలు పుట్టకుండా చేయడం ఆ బాధ్యత మీది గవర్నమెంట్ది మాది అందరిది కలిపింది కాబట్టి మన అందరం కూడా తలసేమియా ఫ్రీ తెలంగాణ గురించి ఎందుకంటే ఇలాంటి పైలట్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ ఒక తెలంగాణలోనే జరుగుతోంది సో మాకు స్టేట్ గవర్నమెంట్ అన్ని విధాల సహకారం ఉన్నా కూడా ఈ యొక్క జీవో ఒక్కటి కనుక వాళ్ళు చేస్తే ఇంకా బాగుంటుంది అన్నది మా యొక్క ఉద్దేశం ఇప్పుడు మా బేసికలీ లెట్ మీ టెల్ యూ వై ది సొసైటీ వాజ్ ఫామ్డ్ ఇన్ ఇయర్ నైన్టీన్ నైంటీ ఎయిట్ బిఫోర్ దట్ దిర్ వాజ్ నో సచ్ ఫెసిలిటీ ఫర్ బ్లడ్ ట్రాన్స్ఫ్యూజన్ ఆర్ మెడిసిన్స్ ఫర్ తెలిసిన చిల్డ్రన్ ద పేరెంట్స్ వర్ రూమింగ్ హియర్ అండ్ దేర్ టు మెనీ హాస్పిటల్స్ మెనీ బ్లడ్ డొనేషన్ బ్లడ్ క్యాంప్స్ అండ్ బ్లడ్ బ్యాంక్స్ అండ్ ఫర్ బ్లడ్ ఎవ్రీ ట్వంటీ డేస్ ద తెలిసిన చిల్డ్రన్ రిక్వైర్ బ్లడ్ ఫర్ దేర్ లైవ్లీహుడ్ but they did not get blood at that time many of the parents those who are very much disturbed for non availability of blood they once met dr an krishna kumari who guided the parents to join and form a society thus in 1998 this society was formed by just 20 parents and dr suman jain dr mrs ratnavali ali beg saab manoj rupani were some of the parents those who started this society they are the founder members let me tell you this society now which started with just 20 patients is now having 3720 patients this is the biggest society in the world serving thalassemia children all free of cost here as soon as the patient comes to our center they are consulted counseled blood transfusion is given medicines are given all the tests and investigations are done whatever whatever requirement is there for them is fulfilled for them no area is left for them for treatment basically this society other than all this facility also treats them for bone marrow transplant which is really very costly but that also we do free of cost other than this we are also doing uh, for prevention basically this thalassemia is easily preventable blood disorder a simple hba to test if it is carried for the pregnant lady in their first trimester of the pregnancy they are uh, 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 diagnosed as carriers if they are carrier then the husband are tested if they are not carrier they are advised to continue with the pregnancy like this we are doing this in mahabur nagar district and we are proud to say that some of the pscs we can declare as thalassemia free as on today if this test is continued and the same test we request the telangana government to please uh introduce this bill geo for uh hba to test and instruct all the gynecologists and the hospitals to compulsorily test this to eradicate thalassemia from telangana i promise if this geo has comes from the government we will uh struggle very hard to eradicate thalassemia from telangana within two years and telangana will be the first state to be declared as thalassemia free in india and as on today as i told you uh, we have very big team for blood uh, collection uh, we have till now given 233000 blood to our patients and we have done 3000 blood donation camps which is really a very big figure and the very uh, uh, disappointing thing is till now 
we have registered 323 patients in this year only which goes to 500 new patients per year this cannot stop unless until the, the government comes forward and uh, uh, uses this uh, test for prevention hbo2 test which is the only only uh, way out for eradication of thalassemia this society, as uh, both of them said, it was formed in 1998. Now, this year is the 25th year. So, we are uh, celebrating our Silver Jubilee celebration in two parts. First part is in the society, where the doctor's uh, conference will be there. That is the second national conference on combating thalassemia, aware, share, care, and cure. So, our chief guest is Dr. Bharti Praveen Pravar. She may not come, but she will address uh, to the people through uh, video conferencing. And our guest of honor is uh, Mirza Gulam Mohammed Beg. And our international speakers is Dr. Mitros Pharmakis and also Dr. Lawrence Falakna. And other speakers, they are coming throughout the India. And uh, uh, local doctors are also there in that uh, Dr. Shirisha uh, Rani and uh, local doctor, Dr. Ramna Danmudi. And uh, another local doctor, uh, Ashwin Dalal and also uh, uh, Ganesh Jastrashwar. So th they are also helping us a lot. And these children, they doesn't need only blood transfusion. They need also the medical care and also uh, investigations, which our doctors are helping. And some investigations can be done in our uh, society also. So I can't speak Telugu. So if Hindi, I can speak Hindi. So the, these children, only thing is that it is a preventable genetic blood disorder. Why right? uh, Chandrakanji was stressing so much on that the government should pass a rule of HBA to screening through anti, uh, antenatal screening by gynecologist, making this test compulsory. It is very, very important. Okay, this test should be made compulsory. The Cyprus and other countries, they have made it thalassemia free. Why can't we? We are now is been called as a thalassemia capital of world. Are we happy about that? No. So we have to make this thing compulsory. And uh, where this media's role is very, very important, ki they have to make this test compulsory. Secondly, we are also celebrating. First half is we are having conference where there will be a management uh, thing and also prevention part and also the cure part by bone marrow transplant. Patient. So we have got three sessions. One is the cure, one which is BMT. Second one is management. And third part is prevention. So these three parts are there in the scientific uh, session. And the second in the evening part, we are having celebration. Celebration like uh, Dr. T. Harish Rao sir is coming as a chief guest. And uh, Mahesh, uh, Dr. Mahesh Joshi is coming as a guest of honor. And, uh, and Mr. Babu Rao is also coming as a guest of honor. And other children will be, our children will be performing and there will be a musical concert. So that is a very big program and we invite you all to come and enjoy the program because morning is totally for the doctors. And if you people are interested, please come and attend. And the second half is very, very important where you will see how our children is performing. They are only patient when they come here for the blood transfusion and the investigation. Rest of the time, they enjoy. They can lead a very normal life. Only thing, they have to take blood transfusion and iron chelating drugs. But it is lifelong. It is not one day procedure. They have to take this, how the diabetes is, they have to take uh, insulin lifelong. Similar way, this thalassemia patient, they need blood transfusion and iron chelating drugs lifelong. This way, I just conclude my talk. Scientist from Italy. I'm the medical director of the Q2 Children Foundation. I've been uh, coming to India now for many years and collaborating with the Thalassemia and Sickle Cell Disease Society of uh, Hyderabad. And uh, very happy to work with them. They have uh, referred us many patients with thalassemia for cure in Bangalore. And I think we've been mostly successful. So we're very grateful. I'm also very impressed by all the work they did for prevention, which of course is the most important thing. And, uh, and so I'm here to give uh, my talk, to listen to the meeting. And uh, I hope it will be successful and uh, that uh, there will be 
more and more very good work. So it's 25 years that the Thalassemia and Sickle Cell Disease Society. So for me, it's an honor to be here for this very important meeting.